Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Super Meat Boy. Me, Meta, Play Super Meat Boy. And um, yeah, the following episode is like yeah, two hours from it. Um, yeah, about that. This kind of just happened on its own by accident. Um, I put it all as one episode because it's all optional. Um, like if you, if you if you're like whoa, two hours, not watching that, then okay, because I don't actually make any progress. Um, but for those who might enjoy my banter, two hours, my banter, yeah, the nattering, then uh, have fun and enjoy this two hour fail horribly. Um, enjoy and take it away, Murtag from the past. He doesn't look that much like the kid, but still. Awesome. Oh yeah, you can double jump, can't you? That's his thing. Oh, this is this is. There should have been like a game over. Oh, wall jumping gets your jump back. I don't think it did. It didn't do that in the game, but then this is a completely different game. So. Oh my god, the double jump is like amazingly useful. Oh, I watched someone do this on the internet. I was like, because I was like, ooh, I wonder if you can lock the kid right at the start and then I'll just play as the kid throughout the entire game. I was like, oh, you couldn't, but I, I watched it, him do it and it made it look proper piss. I mean, he died a few times, but he'd obviously done it. I've just fucked myself, haven't I? <laughs> Just occurred to me, like the second I double jumped. Ah, oh, I want to be the guy. I need to play that game again some more. Cause I was watching a, uh, a fa like a um, you know one of those li a live stream. It was like a live stream for like uh, for charity, and it was like speed runs of games, that were just one after the other for 48 hours. You know, different people, not one person. And it was really interesting to watch. Were, those are really cool games. And I was thinking, I could do Iron Man be the guy. I was thinking, one and a half hours, I would be the guy. I'd well do it. I'd well, I'd well have that. Yeah, cause if, so if I did like a speed run of a game, it would be I want to be the guy. I mean, to be fair, I did a let's play, and that was 15. Was it? Well, 17 episodes. That's fast for I want to be the guy. I'll tell you that. But then I, that was like my fourth, fifth playthrough. Playthrough. So the thing is that I've stopped. Um. Oh, sorry, I stopped talking. I was concentrating. I've stopped going for full completion on games now. When I was younger, I would play a game loads and loads and loads and loads and loads, over and over and over. But I've stopped doing that as I've got older. I will play a game sort of complete it and I won't do I won't do any of the bonus material. And I'll just yeah. Arr. I won't do any of the bonus material like take Final Fantasy 13. I really enjoyed that. Good game. Um but as soon as I completed it, put it away. Never never played it again. I just dunno. I mean, I'll do extra content as I'm playing the game. Like, I did a few of the hunts in that game. But as soon as I completed it, I'm like, okay, done. I think it might be because I care about the storyline more than anything else. And I don't know, as I've got older, I feel more like... Crap, there's loads and loads and loads of games out there, which I've never played. And people are saying, yeah, this is the best game ever. And, um, you know, I've just not played them. And I really should play these games that people say are really spectacular. By the way, I've not been using dash at all. Maybe if I hold down dash I'll have an easier time with this. Possibly a harder time. I mean, this is I want to be the guy. Well, it's not I want to be the guy, but it's supposed to be like I want to be the guy. It takes off I want to be the guy quite well, but it'll only take off I want to be the guy well if there's like a sudden spike drop at the end. Spikes, yeah, I'm I'm not feeling the love from uh from the uh, from Dash here. 
Oh yeah, double jump there makes that. I've just fucked myself. So there, double jump, double jump, wall climb. Oh, the timing there is... It looks easier than it is, but you're going so fast by the, by the end of it. Trust me guys, it's harder than it looks. Yeah, and there's three levels of this, so uh, I like the way I managed to get through there without touching the sides. I just died. I wasn't. I didn't actually need to do that. Ooh, this is tricky. But if this was Anime the guy, that that ceiling there, there'd be spikes on the ceiling, and there isn't. So, you know what can I say? I'm forgetting to double jump there. Oh, this is... I'm failing now. Uh, uh, this is hard. And you're like, well, this is I want to be the guy, of course it's hard. And I'm like, well, yeah, but still. And then I'm like, it's not, it's Super Meat Boy. I wonder if this is, you know, of all the special stages, I wonder if this is considered to be one of the harder ones. Well, it is in Rapture, so I'd imagine it would be. I read, like, a very quick walkthrough of this game. They're not, like, how to the levels, just for, like, information on it. And one of the bits I did read... Uh, ...was, um, information on the secret characters and like what abilities they have and who like what and he like rated them like out of 10 ah oh, so close then I just realized it's so close sounds a lot like Cyclosius so Closius is gonna be my new thing I think um oh So close, yes. Um, so yeah, I want to be the guy. If you've never played I Want to Be the Guy, you should play it, though. Um, if you're any kind of gamer, it you should have at least tried it. Try and... Right, if I were you, take the upper path and try and beat Mike Tyson. And then if you want to stop after you've beaten Mike Tyson, then... Okay, then fair dues, you've given it a good go, I mean like, you've done a, a, a chunk of the game, I mean like, an easy chunk, but a respectable chunk of the game there, um, you know, there are loads and loads and loads of warp, like, let's plays like mine, of the game, so if you, ah, uh, be right back one sec, okay I'm back, I don't know, uh, what was it, what was I talking about? Something about I want to be the guy. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, that was interesting then. I sort of wall righted there and got an extra jump out of it. Oh. This is so difficult. <laughs> I've got it. Fall like yeah, but then I've got to do a double jump. So I'm not used to double jumping because you know this is Super Meat Boy. Um, I mean like I mean this is quite weird for me. It's like having double jump and wall riding anywhere at the same time. It's weird. You know, this is the first of three as well. Oh, and I've not even like made it halfway. I will do this, um, eventually. Oh my god, I'm just looking at the end now and thinking, there's absolutely no way on earth I'm ever going to do that first time. So do you know what that means? That means... That means that I'm going to have to do all this bit 
many times. I actually can't do this. Yeah, and there's, if you get 100 bandages, you can buy... Bait. I think there's, yeah, there's two, like, epic characters in this game. One is the, uh, the Minecraft block guy, who uh, can place blocks down, which is slightly overpowered. Um, the other one is a uh, Captain, oh, I can't remember what his name is, Captain something, and he's from VVVVVV, which is something, it's a game which I've actually played all the way through. It's basically like this, but a lot shorter and easier. It's not very difficult. I mean, it has its moments where you, it takes like, what, 20 attempts to do something. But I'll be well, I think I'm well over 100 fails on this now. So difficult. The thing is, and I remember the guy, if you're falling down a chamber of spikes and you haven't touched, and you're not touching them, you can just n not press anything, you'll know for a fact that you won't touch any of them, because you would just go straight down. But in this game, you sort of, because you sort of, you know, have momentum and things, you, it's, it takes a bit of more skill to fall dead straight. Ah. Oh. Ah, why do I keep in doing this? This is going to turn into its own episode, I think. Um, I'm sorry, but this is bloody difficult, and I probably can quit and just continue the game. But I seriously want this character, not only because I want to be the guy is awesome, but also because ah. That's like halfway through the level as well. I've heard that he's really good. Like uh, the FAQ that I was reading, he said that the kid is the best character, other than the captain from VVV and Minecraft. The Minecraft one's overpowered though, and you know it takes a hundred bandages, so you know. You're not really supposed to like play through the game when you first go with that character, um, and you know the the cap the cat. I didn't actually tell you what the captain does. If you've played VVV VVV, you'll know what I'm talking about. But the whole like concept of that game that makes it original is you press a button and it reverses gravity. And when I say press a button, I mean like on your control pad, so you can do it at any time. Um, and so basically, you fall upwards or fall down. You can only do it while you stand. And basically, you can do it in this. So it's like it's debatable whether you think it's overpowered. I mean, it it'll mess around with the levels loads. Some levels will become like really, really easy, and others will become, you know, you you won't be able to use the ability or at all, or you'll just fall off the top of the screen. By the way, guys, if uh, if anyone's played Super Meat Boy, I'm sure some of you have. Cyclotis has, but he's still in the hospital. Fail. I'm actually... F think I'm getting the hang of this. No, I said that earlier. Okay, I'm, I need to learn how to do that, yeah. You can't do, like, the first... Uh, part where you're going upwards you do it completely differently to the second part. The second part, you sort of jump. Double jump again. Right, you don't... You stick with momentum. Yeah, I was just testing something out. I was just testing whether or not you lose momentum when you jump. Double jump. You don't. In a lot of games, you know, you'll suddenly change direction when you double jump. For example, TF2 with the scout. Um, like as soon as you do bump, you can like change direction really fast. That's not the case here, which is kind of well. I had to, I just had to find out for certain. Oh crap! Too late. Bandage goes over there. Like what the frig? <laughs> what the frig? I like the way she goes from quick save me with her arms in the air, and then 
It's just O. Oh. It's as if looking at you to say, you just died, you idiot. You're the worst Mario ever. Uh, Trying to think, is it best? I'm doing a full jump there at the bottom all the time. Yeah, it's definitely best to do a full jump there all the time. You just have to go nice and low somehow. This this first bit is one of the hardest bits of the level. Well, good level design on games like this it gets easier and more intuitive as the level goes on. You don't want the end of the level to be really unintuitive, maybe introducing new ideas, or um, or just plain sol solid. I only the guy had that, because I only the guy had good level design. I don't care what you say, it had very good level design. That is hard. Um, like if you look at I want to be the guy screens, a lot of the time they'll either stay consistently difficult, or they'll be a really. They'll. they'll in fact, I'm trying. I'm just thinking of screens now. How the fuck? Oh, there's a wall on the left there. You will jump on. Let's take a moment to decide what to do. So you jump down. Double jump, wall, 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 jump across, fall down, double jump, wall, sort of do something, jump, jump onto the uh, right hand side of that wall, do a crazy leap, I have no idea how I'm ever going to do that, um, and then land, and then, yeah, just, but yeah, if you look at Anime the Guy Screens, if, the, if they've just got a dickish section which takes like 30 attempts to get through just because that you only need one pixel it's usually at the start I'm thinking of a particular example in my head right now right after you beat Mecha Birdo that little bit um, not always the case but in a rule of thumb for example the Ghosts and Goblins section you know if you don't know what I'm talking about da -da -da. You know what I'm talking about. Um, um, that section it has some difficult spikes on the bottom, and then suddenly extremely difficult. So it kind of has, but it doesn't take too long to get up to that point. And also after that, if you're playing on hard mode, because there isn't a save point straight after the hard bit if you're on hard, then there's a quite an easy section which is the rest of that screen so you know it, it does kind of go easy to hard every screen and I believe that I don't think I'll have too much difficulty um, after after I get to the end of this level there's a good chance that I'll do it first time because I believe in the level design NO! I need to do a little double jump there. That was my best yet though guys. I bet you're all thinking, you're just looking at your watches now, like this has been going on for... I have no idea how long this is going on for. So, enlighten me. I don't know. I'm not keeping track. I just had my dinner. And I did this for quite a while before I had my dinner. So, I don't, I don't even know anymore. I keep wanting to say, okay, I've got the hang of that now because I found it really easy, but then I fail it ten times in a row after that. Yeah, I would say this is... I don't know. It's actually, when it gets down to the nitty gritty, it's actually surprisingly difficult to compare I Want to Be the Guy to this game. Because, I don't know, you're, you're not... The fact that it keeps your time in every level implies that, you know, you're just supposed to do the levels quickly, not necessarily just doing them is the challenge itself, it's doing them quickly. So, is all the challenge in completing the levels? That is the question. But th this is very difficult. This is... Yeah, okay, I'm gonna... This is definitely I want to be the guy difficulty. Um... Because this is massively more difficult than the easiest 
Like if you look at the easiest screens, like the, some of the first screens, they are pathetic compared with this. Also, there's something with I want to be the guy is that once you know what you're doing, and I don't just mean oh you know that which spikes are going to fall down. I mean like you know the technique, like for what? Oh my god, there's no way. Once you know the technique for the level you're doing, like okay, I single jump, single jump, double jump there, etc. Because like a lot of the time, one technique will work there'll be a really easy technique to do it which will make it so you do it every time there are many examples of the garage, for example the bullet bill screen There's so many different ways you can do that some excruciatingly difficult some you'll get it just in just a few attempts oh my god <laughs> I saw that coming. You're all drop your popcorn there for a second. He's gonna do it. See, the thing is, though, what 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 what's my reward for doing this? Oh, I go on to the second level with the kid. Um. So then, then I've just got to do two more screens like this. Um, I can't I can't remember what they are. I remember this one quite clearly, but I couldn't remember the other one. It took him like five attempts, I think, on the video I watched. Which is insane. To be honest, if I stop now, I do it a lot faster. Like it, like I do it in the time again now. So having practice helps a lot. But yeah, I'm using the kid from now on though, unless I absolutely have to. Like say it's a running away boss, like the first one or the race at the end of the third world. I think it was the third world. Yeah. Then uh, I might change back to the meat boy. But other than that. You know. I have a sneaky suspicion that the um, Super Meat Boy is fast for a reason. You're supposed to be able to get all the A pluses with him. He's almost like the hard mode character to play as. He's like, um, I'm trying to think of a good example. You know, like in racing games, you have a choice of cars. And you know you have like handling high and low top speed cars and you have he's he is the high top speed low handling car. So like you can play throughout the entire game as him, it'll be fine, but you might have a much easier time with uh, the high the good handling cars. However, I don't think you'd be setting any records with the easier handling cars. Although this, using the kid, you may be able to do some levels massively faster than with Super Meat Boy, just because you can like maybe skip parts out using the double jump. I don't know. I'm definitely getting better. As you can clearly see. Ah, missed my, missed my double jump there. I think I should probably dash there. Yeah, I just realised. I just, I've not because I've been having better control without using dash. I've totally forgotten about it. I'm just thinking dash could be amazingly useful on that bit there I'm thinking I made it without dash and I'm gonna have less control with dash so I'm thinking maybe just a little bit of dash just a dash of dash if you like if you wanna if you like your jokes funny just a bit of dash a dash of dash uh, how did I just not die? How did I die then? Uh, I've not got up to the last two parts of this level yet. This is reminding me for some reason of a screen in I Want to Be the Fan Game. It was a screen, it's an underwater screen, and there's 
There was like four save points in the level because it was ridiculous. There was just spikes everywhere. The margin ferrer was minute, and so like every like five meters there was a save point just because it took you literally forever. Well, not forever. In fact, I did it like I did it faster than this level. Let's just say, um, but it was very difficult. Like as a trap, as a spike trap. This is difficult because. It's not easy. It's, it's actually difficult for two reasons. Firstly, I have to do loads of things. So, like, I'm going to go down into maths mode for you. Let's assume that in this screen there are five jumps or challenges, whatever you like. And every single one, I have an 80% chance of succeeding, which I obviously don't, but then to do one and let's say every single challenge takes me 10 seconds then if to do if it was just one like say it was just this oh I've done it then I would it would take me just slightly over 10 seconds on average to complete right but if you have two then that means I've only got a 64% chance of completing the level and every single attempt takes me 20 seconds. So, every single time you make a level longer you're making it so it's way more difficult. Like for example, if you say I had a 10% chance of success then 10% chance of success won but if I had to do two in a row it would be one in a hundred three in a row would be one in a thousand and you know, very difficult ones like this would be like what, like one in like one in ten thousand. And every single, and not only that, but every single attempt would take longer. So it would take more than ten times the amount of time every single time the level got longer. Which is why this level's so difficult. <laughs> because it's consistently challenging and very long and when I say long I mean long as in there's a lot of different things you have to do like there's a lot of jumps which take precision there's a lot of ways to die honestly I think I've been a bit unlucky I think I, on an average day I would have done this but I did not die there I think I would have had this by now I don't know I just got unlucky because luck obviously if you've got a 1 in 10,000 chance of doing something you perfectly may well do it first time you're as likely to do it the first time as you are on the 10,000th time which again is not accurate to real life obviously you get more you get you get um because you get better as you practice it takes you a lot less time with every single time you were uh... Pra yeah practice makes it take a hell of a lot less time like if I just stop now and then start recording like yeah let's say once I do it let's say it takes me half an hour to do this level I hope it hasn't already gone over half an hour that would be absolutely disastrous I did not touch that. Then I think we need a little bit of dash, a dash of dash on that little part over there. Although I'm worried because I'm not used to dash with this, I might just get totally fucked. I think there's a very reasonable chance that that might happen, but I think You've got to try these things, I miss that by an absolute mile. To think, if you actually measured like this this jump, like what the margin for error is on when you press A, it's probably like a tenth of a second. It's likely to be a hell of a lot less than you'd think. You just have to 
to be a pro like me. He says he's been on the same level for... I don't know. I don't know how long it's been. But when you clicked on this episode, I was probably still on this. I could cut this. Could edit this. But that wouldn't be in the spirit of things. And as a rule of thumb, my audience don't like it when I cut things. Talking to your audience. I have done a little bit of cutting in the past. Whenever I do, I usually get a comment saying, please don't. Very politely, of course, but... So, I'm not going to cut this. However, if I get comments saying that was such a waste of my life, please cut it next time. If this ever happens again, I will cut it. Of course, if you, if you went through five balls of popcorn, then, uh, and you've got loads of extra popcorn, feel free to post a comment saying, do not cut it, this was good. I mean, like, honestly, it's in your, it's in your hands, guys. Um, my audience is very small, so a single person is relatively significant. I mean, it says I've got like 340 subscribers, but I do not have 340 subscribers which actually watch my videos. Probably, it's hard to say because I'm fairly sure I've got a lot of subscribers which never ever comment. I would estimate 30 people actually will check YouTube somewhat often, like at least once a week, and when I post a video will actually watch it in its entirety. Ah, I go silent when I get up to there just because it's just like, it's just the second tower climb, it's just horrible. It's just absolutely horrible. i am definitely got better now. If you went back 20 minutes now, or like to the previous episode, <laughs> I've probably been doing this over two episodes now. Oh my gosh, just thinking back to the to the level where the warp zone was. Do you remember that? Because I can just about remember it. It was, remember there was buttons, and then there was keys dropping down, and you had to catch it before it touches the floor. Do you remember that? And I was thinking, hmm, do the keys respawn? No, they don't. That was what I was doing before this happened. I'm on the next screen. Oh my god. This is turning into I want to be the fan game very, very quickly. I can remember why I did not enjoy I want to be the fan game now. Just because this was. this happened. I'm starting to think that this is one of the hardest screens on any game I've ever done. Because I'm trying to think of things. Right, okay, well, no. Um, if you. There are boss fights out with the game which are way, way harder than this screen. Mother Brain and the guy, good examples. Mother Brain is. I've got a friend who. I need to use Dash there, just. Right, I've got a friend Jay who, was, who quite liked I want to be the guy and uh, played th played through it quite a lot, but he just he could never beat the game because he um, he's still never beaten with the brain. But the brain is a really really harsh boss 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 fight boss fight. Um, very very difficult. Um, if you've beaten them, well done. I, I I remember on very hard, very hard mode on that game is truly evil at times. I knew Dash would kill me. Um, it's truly evil, um, especially around boss fights. An example of truly evilness. On very hard. Remember, I've actually beaten the game on very hard. Um, the uh, Castlevania section doesn't have any save points in it. Actually, the, right at the start, there's a save point. But you have to do the first screen, which is fairly easy. There's a jump in it, which is retarded. But you have to do the second Castlevania screen, 
Which, if you know what you're doing, you should never die when doing it, really. Um, the third one, however, is a complete cockbag. Um, died many times doing that. And then, guess what? Dracula, the boss fight. Dracula is that, after that. And there's no save point. So if you die against Dracula, you have to do three screens and then try and begin once you do the three screens. It took me six attempts to beat Dracula. And I think, it, oh, that must have taken forever, and the answer is yes. However, I was blessed massively. To do it in six attempts, that is really good. Like, uh, in my um, actual Let's Fits on YouTube, I'm the guy I got really unlucky. Really unlucky with Dracula. I should have done him a hell of a lot faster than I did. It took me like a full like ten minutes or something. More than that even probably. Um he just kept being a complete prat. Cause his rooms cause his moves are random, it's he's proper annoying to beat. But yeah, that could have easily taken me thirty attempts. But luckily I when I was doing very hard I was absolute pro. I've actually got loads worse that I that I wanna be the guy now. I'm actually nowhere near as good as I used to be. I did all right in my walk in my YouTube run through. I I don't think I did very well though. 17 episodes is not fast. My I actually did try to do speed runs before I started doing YouTube of that game and excluding beating the guy because I don't like beating the guy because it takes me forever. I've only ever beaten the guy three times. The first time took me nine hours. No, I'm serious. It actually took me that long. That, to put that into perspective, imagine watching me, let's say, ten minute episodes like my fan game. That is a uh, six time. Oh, bastard! Put that into perspective. Um, uh, 90, na, na, that's, damn it, put that in perspective, so that's 10 minute episodes, 10 episodes, no, 6 episodes would be an hour, so 6 times 9, which means 54 episodes, 10 minutes, just watching me beat the, try and beat the guy. I was at it. I did it over two days. I spent like four hours one day, and the next hour it was like seven o'clock at night. And I was like, "Okay, I'm gonna do it." It was half past mid, half past eleven this time. Still doing it. And I thought, "Fuck it, I'm just gonna go until midnight." And if I ne if I don't do it by midnight, I'm just gonna give up. Now this sounds like the sort of story where actually I made up, but I'm telling you, I did not make this up, honestly. Even though this is like pretty ridiculous, um, I start. I booted up Camp Studio, which I had just randomly on my computer, and started recording me play on the guy. And uh, so anyway, I played it. Twenty minutes in recording, still haven't beaten him. And then I just beat him. It was like five to midnight, and I beat him. I was proper like freaking out, like really bad. I'd actually, I actually knew about the, um, you know, about the apple falling down, killing you at the end. I knew about that, and I was freaking out. I was like spamming left throughout the entire final cutscene. I didn't really, I should have really been enjoying the final cutscene, but I was, I was freaking out as much as I was happy. Um, but yeah, I dodged it and completed the game on me. What did I? Yeah, I played it on medium first playthrough. I think. I'm sure I did. Um, a ridiculous number of deaths. Something like 8,000, 9,000, or it might have been like 14,000. It was something in that ballpark. You gotta remember is I'm with the guy. Death statistics don't work properly. I just realised I have not SRSR in a long time. There may be audio desync. I haven't got audio desync with, with Super Meat Boy at all. So this might not be audio desync. Just to be sure, I'll SRSR. Um, anyway, as I was saying. So the way how I got right to the end up twice in a row and now I'm just totally failing. 
so, yeah, I don't, yeah. So the guy took me nine hours, and then I beat him while recording, and the recording crashed. Cause come to just this weird thing. After when you tell it to stop recording, then it like saves it. It like compresses the audio. That's what it says it's doing. And then it just crashed while it was doing it. And I was like, to be honest, I wasn't that annoyed about it because I don't know what what, what I would have done with the recording anyway. Um, but still, I that's how that was the, that was the first time I ever beat the guy. Um, and then a few times, I actually had a mental breakdown while playing the guy. I went through the wall if I was running the marathon without him, with I want to be the guy. Um, it was versus Bowser boss because I took the down route. I so I did the wall spikes, then I did the factory, then I did the the freaking laser beams coming out freaking nowhere screen. Um, and and then I did the next round after that, which is really easy. I do it first time almost every time now. I think I do it in my playthrough first time. Really easy. There's a secret trap right at the end. If you don't stop, it never hits you. I've never been killed by it ever. Even on my first playthrough, I didn't know it was coming. I just just made me jump. Um. So yeah. Uh, and then the first boss was the Bowser, KKK, and I gotta say that's one of the harder bosses. It's definitely nowhere near compared with Mother Brain on the guy, but one of the harder bosses in the game. I would say Zangief is a little bit easier and Mike Tyson's way easier. I'm telling you right, if you wanna play on with the guy, go go up at the start. It's way easier. That way it's significantly easier than any other direction at the start. So when you're getting first into the game, go up at the start. Anyway, so anyway, I beat Bowser. But what happened was, the game's a bit of a dick, you know, because it's not a real game. So after you beat him, you collect the orb, which is after every boss. And, um, and then I was stuck. I walked to the very left of the screen, and it I should have. Oh, I would have got my double jump back if I tried again. Anyway, I walked to the very left of the screen and it wouldn't let me go left. So I was like, shit. I wandered over to the left, well, I'm in the right, went off the screen onto the next screen, and there was another room with no save point in it. So I was like, what the hell? It took me several hours to beat the boss, remember? So anyway, thinking there's no way back, tried to do it failed horribly as you might imagine and freaked out I like boycotted playing the game for ages might have been actually I don't think it was that long I think it was like a week <laughs> but I did seriously stress out I actually sort of made a forum post about it on some forum I can't remember a long time ago this was this was before I made YouTube videos apart from my line ready videos lol you should go back and check them out just for nostalgia purposes. Uh, two of them are absolutely shit. One of them is vaguely acceptable and one of them is actually kind of half decent. Um, it should be obvious which one's which. That bit is such a prick. Um, yeah. I want to be the guy. It's an experience. <laughs> and I gotta say, oh yeah, and then, um, so yeah. And then I, after boycotting the game, this is turning into my my experience of I want to be the guy in non chronological order. This is. Um, to be fair, it's probably appropriate considering what's going on. I'm sitting back, completely relaxed, thumbs on joypad not move my arms an inch in about an hour. I have no idea how long I've been doing this screen now, it's just like, this has turned into me talking. This is like a vlog, this should be like my vlog, I do, I do a daily vlog and I just play this screen. 
actually that would that that would almost strike me as a good idea. Apart from it would probably get really lame after about three episodes. Do you know what I think that would be kind of interesting if you if people did a vlog, but rather than like showing you the face, they just played a video game on the screen, which was ridiculously difficult. Didn't have to be live commentary. So you could just watch this guy die over and over and over. There are loads of games out there which are way harder than I would be the guy. I think uh, an example, Ultra J-Man in Vengeance made a game called I Wanna See You Suffer, which is essentially a game which is as, as evil as it gets, really. Picture this screen and then think of absolutely everything you could possibly do to make it harder. I don't know, spikes flying across the screen, a timer, or whatever, and put them all into this screen and then you'll get an I want to be the suffer. I want to see you suffer screen. I never did the first part. I never ever reached the second save point of the game. To be fair, I didn't try that hard. I played it for about 15 minutes. It's not really supposed to be an enjoyable game, if I'm honest. It's just, but there are like loads and loads of Mario hacks out there which are ridiculous, which you can find if you go on Google and YouTube. Mario hacks are ridiculously hard. They're not. If like if you actually beat them, then that's ridiculous. I always hit that spike. I say to myself, I will hit that spike, and I did. So anyway, back to I want to be the guy. So I boycotted the game for a week and went back on it and beat the boss again. But however, when I went left to try and you know go back to the save point, I jumped. And if you jump, then you can make it through and then reach the save point and save it after you beat the boss. So I was Obviously I'd looked up this and found out it was possible and raged out for a week. Anyway, I did it eventually again. I hate that ball. I mean like, if on my, le on my playthrough, you will see that I have an absolutely balls to the wall strategy on how to beat him. Like, there's absolutely no like creativity at all. It's I do exactly the same, pretty much down to the pixel every single time. Just because I'd spent so long on that boss, I had I had the time to work out down to the pixel where you are supposed to stand to stay alive. Still died loads because of the stupid freaking balls that you have to jump over two or three times. Those, oh my god, I don't even want to think about them. They're really, really harsh. That the jump over those balls. That sounds really stupid, but honestly. Not even joking when I say it's ridiculous. Why am I still on this screen? Right, so like, basically, about 10% of my viewers have actually watched all the way up to this point. Actually, do you know what? I think I may have to just completely edit this. Do you know what I'll do? I think I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna upload all these, but make them unlisted, and when I reach this screen, I'll like put up an annotation. This screen takes me so many minutes, probably over an hour, to to watch the entire thing. Click here to skip to when I beat it. Click here. This is this is getting quite ridiculous now. But I almost just by saying that, I think that's a really good idea. And so I have liberated myself. I feel like I've liberated myself of needing to do this quickly. And so that, and now everyone that's watching this, um, I know has chosen to watch this. Oh my god! No one's gonna watch it though. It's gonna the un it's gonna have like two views. Well, actually, it's gonna have plenty of views. But then people will realise after two minutes that I wasn't joking. <laughs> It is just me doing this level for two hours. 
Do you know what I should do? I should get. I've got strawberries and ice cream here next to me. I should get a camera out and record it for the entire time that I'm doing this level. And then you can what? And then play it in fast motion so you can watch ice cream melt in the corner as as uh, I'm playing the game. That's a really stupid idea, but it'd be hilarious. I think ideas like that are the kind of thing which you need to do to be interesting. However, I just haven't got a camera. I haven't got a camera is the problem with almost every idea I come up with. Oh, bitch. I saw, I saw. I will do this. There's just that last jump. Once I beat that little bit, I'll have that last jump to do. I saw, I saw again. Well, he's still smiling, so not all is lost. Oh, by the way, um, if you want to know the password to my account, it's... No, you see. I was thinking, well, if I told you my password, no one would hack me because no one would, would have watched, will still be watching this. Actually, consider, considering no one is watching this, I'm going to tell you guys a little secret. This just because I don't have a Twitter or a Facebook, so apparently I do have a Facebook, according to someone, Zombie Ate My Brains, told me. You do have a Facebook fan page, and I'm like, holy shit, really? I really should stop doing that. Um, anyway, I was surprised that I had a Facebook fan page. But still, um... Um, what was I going to say? Talking about oh yeah, I'll tell you a secret. Um, the first episode to the the first two episodes. Remember when I said it wasn't blind because uh, the recording corrupted? It didn't corrupt. You see now this is interesting, isn't it? This is a secret. It didn't corrupt. Um, what happened was uh, right. How am I going to? Basically, what happened was I thought, well. This was actually just after I watched it. I feel like I may as well make this story really long. Just because I'm sure I've got the time. I, I kind of don't want to complete the level now because I'm going to say the secret. Oh, quick. Oh my god, the video skipped. I saw, I saw. Fraps occasionally does that when he makes a new video. Anyway, I watched a, vi by f a video by Flip the Pranko talking about how he doesn't. Any, any YouTuber would like to say under 400,000 subs, I think he said. Which I don't know whether you've noticed, but is I am in that category. Said that you shouldn't make alternate channels. Um, you shouldn't have more than one channel because bastard, bastard. And I say any normal person would have just like completely raged out. And um thrown their controller. I have never in my entire life thrown a controller out of anger. Believe it or not. Um, right, anyway, Philip Franco video. Talk about the should make extra channels. The reason is because if you have extra content, like say l daily vlogs or whatever, that you should put them all on one channel. You should put all everything you do on one channel because your audience is small and you know if if you like fuck up and make an awful video and put it on YouTube, you're not gonna screw. You've not got like a massive audience that can, you know, that can screw you up. So you know you have room to make mistakes, as he said. He says once you're over like 400,000 subs, then you know your audience is very, very important and fragile. I'd imagine he implied that anyway. Anyway, I actually do have a second channel. Um. One or two, you probably know that it exists. Um, it's where I've put I've put two Guitar Hero videos up. I didn't want to announce that I'd got it until until uh, I had a camera so that I could record hands at the same time playing Guitar Hero. Because I think it's I don't I think I much prefer Guitar Hero videos where it shows us the hands as well. So uh, yeah, be doing that. 
when, once I actually get a camera, I meant to get a camera a hell of a lot, lot like in March, but I never got one. SRSR. Uh, um, so basically, yeah, I make Guitar Hero videos. Um, on the channel, but that, well, that wasn't the secret by the way, but if you guess the channel name, it's very, very guessable what the channel name is, and it's brilliantly witty. So, um, have a good guess. If you know what it is, don't tell people, it's a game. Um, anyway, the secret, now, this guy, anyway, because... Right, okay, I'm just going to pause it here and tell you the story. Because if I do it now, I'll have to put it in the main recording. So I'm gonna, c yeah. Um, uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do actually. Um, SRSR. I don't know. I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna go for it. Oh, I died anyway. <sighs> the, I'm big part of me wanted to die on purpose there. Anyway, Phil. Anyway, because I always felt the of his show, and he said, "Try new things." Well, he didn't. Well, he basically said, "If you're gonna try new things." do it on your main channel because it's not going to get views on a second channel and it's just you just wasting your time so I thought okay let's try a new thing and I was I just finished my dead space let's play and finished uploading it and I was like okay super meat boy time at this time I was on Skype with two friends one of which is was Psychosis and I recorded playing Super Meat Boy uh, with them on commentary at the same time so we were all on Skype the problem was they were doing other things and it, it, it degraded into mostly them talking me just playing a game so and I decided no it's crap um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna uh, put it up so I've just said I'm gonna re-record re it. So yeah, that's the secret. It didn't actually corrupt. Oh my god, I've just done it! Oh my god, I've just done it! Oh my god! Yeah, Sarasa, we've done it! We've done it, guys! Let's. Right, I'm just gonna run in the house naked. No, not really. I, 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 I want you to all be here so I can run past you all and do high fives. Yes. Oh. I've done it. That oh, I want to know how long that took me. It took me a fucking long time. Um. Anyway, let's can right for those who are uh, just skipped. Welcome back. Um. I just did that screen. Uh. There sh there would there would have been a link on the previous video, this video, whatever, to me doing the whole thing. Um. I actually talked quite a lot about a secret. Uh. And. My experiences with that one be the guy, among other things, because obviously I had a lot of time. Um, I'm gonna continue my story of I want to be the guy though. I like there's a snapping sound now. This is really awkward to get onto this platform. Basically, right back to where we were. For those who are just joining us, the story so far was start playing out with the guy. Got up to uh, the first boss. I went down, by the way, for those who want to follow along. Oh. What the fuck? Oh, right, yeah. I went down and uh, beat Bowser boss. Couldn't work out how you saved it. And so I died and rage quit and boycotted the game for ages. After that. After a week or so, I started playing the game again, and I beat the boss and saved it as well. Um, so that's where we're up to. After that, I just played the game. Um, I just I played through it and got through it slowly. Some of the boss were very difficult. Mother Brain took me something in the region of three hours. The guy took me nine hours. If you want to hear the details of me beating the guy, then should have watched what well, you can watch my long video. Um, uh, and I beat it on medium. It was, it was, it was nice. It was a good feeling. I had I am the guy as like my status on like everything for like a month. Um, 
but then I just started I started like messing about with the game like starting just starting to play the game and just kept this just kept the save of mess about and one day I went I want to see what it's like on very hard how hard is it so I created a very hard save and started playing it and it was ridiculous in fact I was laughing going oh my god this is ridiculous um, but ev whenever I was bored I would just kick it on what the hell was going on there and play on very hard and there were some sections which are ridi were, were, were ridiculous like the um, there was a section where you had to do about five screens in a row but also almost every boss fight either didn't have a save before it or didn't have a save after it yes it was that harsh so you had to do an extra screens either side. Um, other than that, and then just one day, I just got up to the guy, and, I was just, and then it sort of hit me that I just got up to the guy very hard. So I thought, do you know what? I think I should probably like, you know, beat the you know beat the game now because I've just freaking done it on very hard. <laughs> so anyway, I. It took me like an hour or something, but I beat the guy. Though, by the way, there were no strings attached to the guy. There's a, there's a save point before the guy on every difficulty apart from impossible. Um, and and I beat the game, and I was like, wow, I just, and I definitely still hold it. Uh, that that is the hardest video game thing I've ever done. It didn't feel very hard at the time because I felt like I was just messing about. But it was, looking back, it's pretty ridiculous pulling that off. Hardly anyone's done it in their lifetime. I'm probably one of very few people. I'm sure a lot of those people could do it, they just haven't. Um, as one video put it, like, only insane people play on very hard. Um, and then, I've, after that, I played the game quite a bit more. I, uh did I've done it on I did it on hard as well just because I was like I've never completed this game on hard why don't I just complete it on hard as well that took me longer than it should have but I did do it and then I went and then I did a few speed runs on medium my best time was like an hour 25 minutes not including the guy I never like to beat the guy I don't know it just takes me far too long I did a few boss rushes I managed to do a boss rush with only 10 deaths which I think is very good for those who don't know a boss rush boss I keep calling it bosh a boss rush rush is where you try and beat every single boss in the game in a time limit and it also counts your deaths my time wasn't very good it's probably sound quite good but I, I can't remember it but I remember deaths with 10 you have to do every single boss in any order you like um, the only good thing about it is the guy you only have to beat the first stage the first three phases which are very very easy they're just time consuming that is a douche that little bit there not funny so uh and then yeah and then I went do you know what I might just record myself by the guy just because I, I, I've watched like two Let's Players subscribe to them, so I thought I might just give it a go. Um, by the end of that, I had like 15 subscribers. And then I thought, right, okay. Didn't upload for months. And then Ultra J Man, you, you probably don't know, but he's a Let's Player, he's got like, what, 3,000 subs. Mostly famous due to his own being a guy Let's Play, which is pretty amazing. Um, basically he said I'm going to play on with the fan game because people have like pestered him to do it for a very long time. So I thought, ooh, I don't want to watch a let's play of it because that would ruin it for me. But I also don't want to, um... but at the same time, you know, I was like, I want to watch the let's play. But I don't want to have it spoiled for me. So what I did was just start started playing the game. And then just as I was about to start, I thought, ooh, I should probably record it, and I'll do another Let's Play. I think, I think, am I going insane, or was that going to be the fan game, my second Let's Play? I think it was. 
Oh, bitch. Am I going insane? I may be going insane. But I think it was. And then I did Bioshock and that was shit. Um, but yeah. Some people like my Bioshock one. I didn't. I would never watch my Bioshock Let's Play. If I was watching my videos, I would have not watched the Bioshock one. I would... If you're gonna, some people actually message me and say, "Oh, you're really amazing," and I'm like, "I'm not being narcissistic," but some people do, you know, comment and say, "Oh, that you're really, really good," and um, which thank you very, very much for the people that do that. By the way, it makes me feel brilliant. Not in that way. Um, this is, do you know what? I think I probably need to edit this screen as well, don't I? So yeah, this might all be secret content as well. Um, but basically. I... what was I just talking about? Fan game. Yeah, fan game. And then Bioshock. Yeah, if I was a watcher of my videos, I would not watch but A lot of, yeah, a lot of people comment on my videos and then say, oh yeah, I really liked this Let's Play. It's, it's actually, I want to be the fan game. Nine times out of ten. Well, this is lovely, that. That is absolutely lovely. I can't believe I just did a small jump over there. I like the way the level repeats itself exactly at the end as well, that's really nice. Anyway, so fan Bioshock completed that. Um, eventually, it was 60 episodes, which is more than I want to be the fan game, so that just gives you an idea. Um, I played it on hard, by the way. I've got friends who have completed on Survivor, which is harder than hard, and it's only on PS3, without ever using a Vita Chamber. I don't even know how they did that. One day I might watch a Let's Play which is a no Vita Chamber Let's Play just to see how on earth you managed to pull that off. That's bloody hard as shit, that jump. Can I just say that? <laughs> right, anyway, back to my story. My very long story. This is like my, my YouTubing career in two hours. I thought the bar shot was going to be easy. I thought a nice easy game I can go through. I've just realised I got double jump, like there. Like I haven't touched double jump apart from when it's obvious you need to, in in the middle. Yes, I did realise you have double jump, but like just sort of like just randomly, just like whenever I'm just randomly doing board jump or whatever, it doesn't occur to me like here, like there. I've got I've, I've got I've got double jump. So, I, and I've been single jumping from one platform to the next every single time. Anyway, so yeah, I completed Bioshock, and then I can't remember what the third one was. If you can't remember what games you've let's played, then that means you've been let's playing for a long time. Oh, I remember my goal was like so many subscribers at the end of I Want to Be the Fan Game. And it was. I actually ended up with a lot more than I thought I would. I ended up with. It wasn't long after I went with the fan game, or during Bioshock I hit 100, I think. But to be fair, I didn't deserve them. They weren't my subscribers, so to speak. They were a good friend of mine. Actually, I'm going to... I'm sure, I'm sure I'll be fine me talking about this. Who used to... Aha, uh -huh, you see, there is another s twist to the end of this story. Go on, use a YouTube channel called Scarb Scope. You, if you go down on my, if you can't work out how that's spelled, it's quite obvious how it's spelled, but it's got a Z in it. Uh, go onto like my comments page and scroll down, and you'll find plenty of messages by him. Friend in real life, goes to college with me. He's a cool guy. Um, that that is a bitch there. I just want to say that. Um. Basically, he started uh, a long time ago when Angry Birds was newish. You know, Angry Birds. It's a very, very, very famous iPhone game. W one of the biggest iPhone games. Oh, let's do this now. Huh, maybe I don't want to dash there. Because I ran straight into it. Anyway one of the biggest iPhone games and the people who made the game for the first so many were honestly I wasn't paying too much attention but for the first so many worlds made three star tutorials so tutorials on how to get three stars 
And by the way, for those who don't know Angry Birds, it's like destroying the castle. You launch birds at a castle with pigs in it, essentially. Try and destroy as much as you can and basically kill all the pigs. You win if you kill all the pigs. Um, so basically, yeah. So they, the developers made tutorials on how to do the level with three star, which means you get a lot of points. You can get more points by not using up all your birds and you know and destroying loads of scenery. So they made tutorials on how to do that, like walkthroughs. But they only did it for like the first, I think it was like three or four worlds, and then all the tutorials after that were just how to pass, not three star. So. My friend, who was obsessionally playing Angry Birds at the time, made the YouTube account, well, started using the YouTube account Scarbscope to make tutorials. He played Angry Birds on his computer and recorded it, him getting three star on every single level after the first worlds, you know. So, and his videos got, I mean, they got like several thousand views to start off with. So I was like, wow, you're getting some... But it escalated a lot. Um, he, uh, he then, he did like every single level and whenever new levels came out, he always got them out like within a couple of days, he usually had the videos out, maybe even straight away. Honestly, I didn't really watch his video that much because I wasn't really interested in Angry Birds. But he was he was getting views very very fast within a month or so. I mean he had videos with over a hundred thousand views. Um, I don't know what's happening right now, but uh, last time I looked, you know, he had six hundred thousand views, five hundred thousand views, four hundred thousand views as his top videos. He had I can't remember whether it was fifteen million or fifty million. He'd have to views on the account and. He had at this point like 2,000 subscribers ish. Because you know, he didn't have that many subscribers compared to views. Because you know, if you're stuck on an Angry Birds level, you YouTube it and then you do it. Um, subscribing, you know, isn't that. It's not. It is quite subscribable, but it's not like massively subscribable. Because you know, you don't need. If you can do the next levels, then that's fine. But whenever you're stuck on a level, you can just YouTube it. So you don't actually need to subscribe to him. But still, anyway. But I, I was on his recommended list of, you know, you know you can like recommend YouTubers so that when you subscribe to someone, that, like I've got a few on mine, so when you subscribe to me, if you are subscribed, if you're not, wow, why are you watching this video when you're not subscribed? Because you must be an absolute dedicated viewer. Go subscribe, it's on the top, you just click subscribe, no effort whatsoever. But yeah. I'm sure you're all subscribed that watch this video. I don't think randomers are going to stumble across this and watch it. Um, basically, this is going to take me forever. I've only just realised. I've never made it past the halfway mark yet. Oh my god. Should I still record this? I mean, see, I'm having a breakdown. No, I will record this. And. It will take me forever to upload all this content still. SRSR, I shall, to be honest, I've not been trying that hard because I'm really enjoying talking. I'm not like completely, utterly focused to live. Um, what was I talking about? Yeah, my mate Scarves. Anyway, so I was on his recommended channels and I got a lot of subscribers through that. I So I had like, what, 150 or something by the end of Bad Shot. But or you could tell when they weren't when they had only just they just subscribed to you off someone else's channel because they would they would also be subscribed to him and everyone else because it's I don't know whether YouTube did this intentionally but whenever you click subscribe to someone you are subscribed straight away from the first click. However, the big box comes up and, and then the subscribe button's in the bottom right and the default is them all ticked. So if you're you know, you're not that used to YouTube and you're kinda new, you could very easily think that you have to then click the next subscribe button to be actually subscribed, but actually that's when you subscribe to all the recommended channels. So I got a lot through that. And obviously you know, I got a lot of unsubscriptions as well, because whenever I posted a video they all have gone 
I didn't subscribe to this and then unsubscribe to me. <laughs> I mean, that doesn't bother me because, you know, obviously they didn't mean to subscribe to me, so. Although I was getting about a 3 to 2 ratio, so 3 subscriptions, 2 unsubscriptions, yeah. I think that was reasonable. Um, I did get a fair few real subscriptions though. I'm not like, I'm not all built on dodgy foundations. I do get actual subscribers by the way, occasionally. Um, and basically, so I got a load of him, and his YouTube channel just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. But he kept saying to me that he just can't be arsed making them. He felt obliged to make them, but he, he said that he just he just didn't he didn't feel like playing Angry Birds anymore. He just said, yeah, it was kind of like boring. And because it took him, he used to tell me how long it had taken him to make a video. Because getting three stars on those levels was absolutely harsh, like really difficult. And so you say that some of these levels take me over an hour, and you have to do that. Oh, I'd almost made it then. But every single level. That's... Ooh, that's... Uh, like I say, it was getting a lot of views. And then, I think what... I think was the the straw that broke the camel's back, and the thing that made him stop was Rooster Teeth. When Angry Birds Rio came out, which is like a new one. Uh, Rooster Teeth, Achievement Hunter, which are a very good channel, by the way. I'm, I'm subscribed to them. Um... They don't just do achievement hunting, they do some brilliant series on there. Um, basically, they started doing Angry Birds walkthroughs to get three stars on a level for Rio. And so, you know, they, they're much bigger than my mate Scarbscope, so he was like, yep, yeah, okay, I'm quitting. And uh, someone, I don't know who, who owns like an Angry Birds website, offered him a thousand dollars for his channel. So he thought about it and asked his parents, and his parents went, yes, do it, do it, do it, do it. I don't know how much they knew about his channel, they probably, probably didn't even know. So he got about 700 quid, and he bought an iPad too. So if you go onto his channel now, he doesn't own the channel anymore. Um, it's uh, someone else's. That's just the way the cookie crumbles, you know. I, don't, I haven't even looked at the channel, so I've, I don't even know what's happened to it since, since you know, since he sold it. I don't know what he's done with it. Um, it'd be hilarious if he asked him for a refund back because he bought an iPad too. Yeah, that's another story. Um, but yeah, because he's not, he's got rid of the channel now, and obviously I'm not on the recommended page anymore. The amount of subscriptions I am, I am getting has like plummeted. Um, I have I have set it so I get an email every subscriber, and I get. I mean, this right. This sounds like I'm whining now. This sounds like oh my god, Mezzo32, you're just bitching now. You're getting the subscribers. Don't see it as that because honestly, I don't care a lot. I mean, like, because YouTube is not my like big thing in my life. There's it's kind of just something I do on the side, so it's not like a lot of people that are big YouTube. YouTube is their life essentially, is what made them, and it's a huge part of who they are, it's a very small part for me. And I don't, right, let's be honest, I do not put a lot of time and effort into these videos. I play video games, I put them on a line on virtual dub, render it and then upload it overnight. Basically no effort goes into the editing. I know, I'm, I'm basically saying my video. Oh! Right, okay. Screw conversation. I'm gonna do this now. I'm not, though. I'm gonna fail, but still. Miracles happen. Oh, bitch. That's how I saw So, yeah. My life story. What was I, what was I up to in my life story? So, yeah, I'm basically getting no subscribers now, which is fine. Um. Yeah, I hardly put any, I hardly edit. And I was what? Uh, and I came across a YouTube channel which I've never come across before. Just about a few hours ago. Something. Something Conroy. I can't believe I can't remember it. Basically, 250k sub YouTube channel. Currently doing Luigi's Mansion Pikmin. Really interesting. I don't know why. It's, it was because he knew so much about the game, I think. 
but yeah, it's already got like it's already got 250,000 views. The it's only got two episodes up. I don't know how you reach that point. Just by just by doing what I'm doing in three years or slightly longer, you can be there and be famous if you're good slash know people slash have a lucky break. Um, yeah, you know, as people talk about uh, a lot, you know, there's a lot of conversations going on right now, debates about is YouTube helping the the smaller community, and a lot of the massive subs, like you know, over over 100k, are, are saying, okay, they aren't featuring small YouTubes anymore. But what they are doing is that they're taking partners and then they're doing that next up course and they're saying that that's probably more beneficial. The only problem with that is is that that's for partners with like, you know, I mean, what's the average partner got? Like a thousand subs at least? The, you know the small guys? I mean, let's be honest here guys. I'm not the kind of, I actually sort of reliably update. In fact, right, okay, I'm whining a little bit here, but I think it's quite difficult to find a channel which reliably updates and has less subs than me. Just, just throwing that out there. Um, just, you know, just for no real reason. Um, and how do I you know, get noticed and stuff. But again, I mean, I, I don't particularly care. It would be astronomically awesome to make some money on the side. But that's like a dream more than I actually think. I don't. I don't think it's going to happen ever. If I if I do this on 26, I I still don't think I'll ever be big enough to be a partner. Because I don't think I'm getting bigger. I mean, your your subscriber number goes up. What you've got to remember is that a lot of people subscribe and then never look at that channel again. So you get, you, like, your massive majority of your subscribers are inactive, so that they aren't real. They're just a number, really. Um, this is really apparent when people make new channels. Um, for example, uh, Ultra German, who's a really cool guy, who had. 15,000 subscribers or something got banned for a really rubbish reason. So he made a new new account called Mega Ultra Jman, and he still only has like 2,000 subs in that account, which implies that at least like 12,000 of them, you know, didn't watch his videos anymore. And the account was, you know, not used. So if you do the same sort of numbers to me, my real subscriber count is like tiny, like. 40 probably that's my real subscriber count so I don't, I don't think I'm actually getting bigger however I've reached a stage which has made me very very happy for a long time literally you just never had anyone watch my videos um, apart from friends however I now have at least I say five people who I don't know in real life so you know totally got just have totally found me and actually watch my videos. Off the top of my head, I'm sure there'll be people which watch every single one of my videos and I'm not going to mention that. I'm sorry, it's just because I'm doing it off the top of my head, but like Yora, who may watch my Dead Space, Zombie Ate My Brains, who's like been with me for like forever. Thanks. You're a really cool guy, by the way, for doing that. Um, and then Joey recently, Joey something's been subscribed, uh, commenting quite a few times, I believe. And so, that's really nice to actually have a audience that you have developed on YouTube. Even if it's only five people, I actually, I have physically have one. is very cool. Um, not many people can say that. Um, so yeah, that's kind of cool. But yeah, I think Let's Play is a really interesting YouTube thing. Because you get these Let's Players, which essentially do 
exactly the, I mean they might put maybe a tiny bit more editing like at the start it might say next episode in an annotation or something on the top right or whatever but they essentially do exactly the same as me but yet they have 250,000 subs and I have 300 and they're doing it for maybe roughly the same time it's crazy isn't that isn't it that and I'm not blaming YouTube I'm blaming myself in a weird way the fact is I am not alone <laughs> There must be, there's probably hundreds if not thousands of Let's Play channels which probably update regularly but just get no subs and then there'll be a few which get loads. And I personally believe the reason is just the person. It's it's just how it is. It's, well actually I'm going to say it's half. It's half the person because some people are just more interesting to listen to than other people. That's just how it is. I am evidently probably not that interested to listen to, to most people. In fact, one of my friend's mum once referred, apparently I'm referred to by their mum as the person that sounds boring but actually isn't. That's what I've been called in the past. Um, so yeah, that just shows you, to give you an insight. I, I probably do sound boring to most people. I mean, obviously if you're subscribed, you, you're probably one of the minority. That don't, I'd imagine, or you wouldn't have subscribed. But, um, um, so yeah, I'm still doing the screen. I'm just, I'm sort of ignoring the fact that I'm actually playing a game right now. Um, yeah, so it's interesting to see how people do exactly the same thing but get way more popular. I'd say it's half because of the person. By the way, if they're I mean, I'm talking about channels which are solely Let's Play channels, like not like Tobuscus's game channel. That's just a total joke. Um, actually, I w that would be a re if I if I had like power over time and control people. One of the, a really interesting thing to do would be to make it so Tobuscus never made any little trailers. Now, I'm not I'm not saying this in a malicious way. I'm just saying because it'd be like an interesting experiment. Um, t never made any literal trailers, never made Cupid Fail, none of that, none of the famous stuff, none of the stuff that's quite popular. And he just did Let's Plays. Do you think he would have attained fame through that? The answer is probably yes. He is evidently an amazingly interesting guy to listen to. Considering he gets like tens of thousand views just by what, getting an iPhone 4 out pressing the button and then talking for four minutes that can get him a hundred thousand views that just show that that is evidence I think it's just something kind of people are born with and then they get used to it which is a very interesting psychological thing How people get used to what they know about themselves people know what they know and then they get used to n displaying that if that makes sense like Tobuscus knows that you know he is popular. He is in. He is. He is very. He knows that he's interesting to listen to, which is why he makes videos like lazy vlogs and gameplay channels, which are centered around him just talking. People know what they're good at, and so flaunt it. It's yeah. It's pretty crazy YouTube in general. I when when Toby Games and Hank Games first came out, I was like, "Oh my God, you're gonna do that and then be massively more famous than me just because you did something else first. Which I think is, I it felt like this is not fair. I I am actually more experienced than you, and potentially, potentially a better Let's Play because I've been doing it for longer." and therefore but you're going to get my, many more views than me because of what you've done first um, that felt a bit unfair then I found myself subscribed to them because they're just bloody interesting I actually hardly watch any of Toby games I'm just I just like watching him play Amnesia and I'm waiting for the next Amnesia just to video you could make Tobuscus your life considering how much content he puts out I, I wish I could enter Toby's mind and think about, you know, when he made the gaming channel, 
how much was, what percentage of the decision, and I'm not saying Toby's like evil, and obviously he's not the only person to do it, I just think this is as well, Hank does it as well, I shouldn't have gone for it then. What percentage of the decision to make a game channel was, I can get a hell of a lot of views by doing this, and since I will have a partnership, we'll be able to get a lot of money. Just throwing that out there, I mean obviously, given benefit of the doubt, they might have, that made a you know, hardly made any difference to them. They just wanted to make games. But I wouldn't be surprised if it was partly, partly the decision to do it. I mean, look at Toby. Three videos a day, all with, what, 50,000 views, 150,000 views a day, plus all the views that all of his videos are getting. So, uh, it seems that these numbers just, they've, they've stopped meaning anything. Um, Although, Toby put it brilliantly in one of his lazy vlogs, accidentally pretty much. He was in a baseball game. Now, I've never been to like a stadium or anything, it's really live football. So I don't know what it's like to be in a stadium, but he was with his iPhone and he just did a spin round and showed the entire stadium. It was gigantic, like thousands and thousands and thousands of people there, absolutely massive. And, um, and then he just casually said, I think, well, I don't know whether he said it or whether I just picked up on it, but his audience through his iPhone is like 10 times bigger. That's just crazy. That is actually crazy to think that someone, just by doing that, you can get a bigger audience than a, than a, than a, than a basketball game. Which just shows that, you know, YouTube is. YouTube is a big deal, and things like TV and me, just you know, and TV and films, they need to realise. Uh, I mean, they've dabbled with it a little bit, and advertising companies have dabbled with it a bit. You know, like there's the Rhett and Link, like Coke advert and things. I think they've that mainly advertising have picked up on it, but I think that I think that the vloggers of today will be, you know, like the actors of tomorrow. What's brilliant about YouTube is that they've made themselves, and they make all the content themselves. I think if there's any, if there's one thing which unites every single YouTuber, it's editing. <laughs> we all do different stuff on YouTube, but we all make videos, which means we all edit videos. Um, I mean, I do Let's Plays probably do the least editing, but I still do. You know, I I use Virtual Dub, and I you know went through a lot of tests to find out what was, what would give the highest quality, went through a lot of different codec packs. So, you know, I mean, obviously, uh, people like Freddy W do a fuck ton more editing with things than I do. So, right then, is this going to take me longer than the last one? I've been sitting here way too long. I can't even believe I'm still doing this. I don't think I'm actually concentrating, I'm sort of talking. I'm fairly sure if I wasn't let's play, I was just playing the game, I would have had this done by now. That is one thing, um, you know, remember I lost my save on Dead Space, so I had to redo it. It's so much easier to play games when you're not talking. It is. If I ever make guitar, I, well, I have made guitar videos, but if I ever make them, don't expect me to talk. I can't talk while playing guitar here. It, it's really weird sensation of if like if if I'm playing guitar here and then someone talks to me, I try and talk but my, I like my brain just fails at doing it. Uh, it it like it's it's like my brain just stops working and the reason is because my I've got like 100% CPU usage on guitar here, <laughs> so I physically can't do anything else at the same time, which is why solving a Rubik's cube at the same time is bloody impressive. By the way, um can't even talk while playing. And talking will actually detract brain power from me actually being able to do this. I am actually getting better though. I'm always going way too late though. <laughs> Luckily the last challenge stands to be easy. It's these spikes which are significantly more difficult. 
See, I'm getting good now. What the hell? Oh, fail. Still not using double jump at all for anything. <sighs> yeah, YouTube's an interesting place. Because it's, it's just not like any other kind of media. Because you know that that... I think the closest thing... This is going to sound really weird, but in a way, the closest thing to YouTube is reading books. Because a book is made almost entirely... Maybe the Australi Australi illustrations or the front and back cover aren't made by the person. But everything else is 100% their work. Um, um, right, in like a film, so many people put their effort into it. It's just not the same, is it? Yeah. One day, Toby will be an actor. It's only a matter of time before people say, Hey, uh, in the seventh Harry Potter film, well, actually, obviously, it's too late now, but do you want to be, like, the new professor? And he'll say, yeah. And he'll do incredibly well. Because YouTube is kind of, in a way, obviously, it's not particularly fair, for, because it's impossible to make a fair environment on the internet like this. But... It's like a dog-eat-dog -dog world for being interesting, in a way. That's one way of looking at it. So, like, um, so like, only the best become the best. Like Wheezy Waiter, people like that. Only the best can do that. Only the best can be that good. Um, so you know, I mean, actors. And like an actor can be inferior and then get uh, a, a role that a better actor couldn't. And the reason why that is, is because there's just a very small amount of people making the decision based on rel relatively small information on who to cast. Whereas on YouTube, you've got a whole lot of information and a whole lot of people voting in inverted commas. When I say voting, I mean like viewing and subscribing uh, for who should be the best. Um, so, I honestly believe that, yeah, YouTubers of today are going to be the actors of tomorrow. It is weird to see people who are as big as TV channels in the, in the, being in the exact same place as me, who is, it's, a, it's almost the equivalent of having, oh, the video skip, bastard, SRSR. It's almost the equivalent of having a TV, having a TV set with Sky, but rather than like a thousand channels, having like ten thousand channels, which you can search through, and then watch. You could watch Tobuscus, or you could watch I Justine, or you could watch Philip Franco, or you could watch William Johnson, or you could watch like me, or Cyclosius, or any other small YouTuber, all on exactly the same place. All in theory, just as accessible. It's crazy, that, isn't it? YouTube is going to change the world. It already has. In 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 a in a big way, not like Facebook. Facebook hasn't changed. I mean, it it probably, it has changed my life, but not in a significant way. It's just made a few things more convenient. Like if I want to know what the homework is for tomorrow, then I can message people. If I and I also basically use it as a Twitter. I don't. I do have a Twitter, but I never ever use it. And I effectively use it as as Twitter. Like I basically tweet, but on Facebook. Um, I, I do. You know, I I I, I do think I like say witty things and post links on my Facebook page. But obviously it's just to my friends. But yeah. You know, I really wish I could score... You know, I've never ever applied for a partnership. But my, loads of my mates have loads of times. I should do it. Not because I'd make any money, just for the just for those that don't know. 
I've been told fairly reliably that you can only make money after the after you've got on a video with more than 10,000 views. So I wouldn't make any money if I had a partnership right now because you can only because I haven't got any videos with 10,000 views, which which aren't copyright. Obviously, it's copyright. You can't put advertising on it. You can't make money off it. But um. Uh, but yeah, I don't really break copyrights, I don't think, because, well, I do, if the game has music in it, which is famous, then technically it's breaking copyright, but, I mean, Toby Games played Black Ops, and there's copyrighted music all over that, and he got away with it, so, video games are f fairly, like, they're fairly lenient copyright-wise, I've never got any copyright hits, games like Guitar Hero, you get fucked over, you just can't do it without getting totally raped by copyright which is really annoying <laughs> music companies are really stuck up in the ass about that actually like everyone else doesn't care like if you take like video games good example like I've never ever got any copyright hits but you know on those lion round of videos I got two copyright hits off four videos and like, they like all got muted <laughs> because of it. So it's like it's almost like they don't want their games ad because it's advertising. That's what it is. I don't care how you. Oh, it's stealing. Oh, bitch! I didn't think that was gonna happen. I thought it was gonna work Sonic way. Um. So yeah, ad yeah, money. Mm. But yeah, so if, if I got a partnership right now. I won't make any money. However, that's not why I want a partnership. I want a partnership because then I can do YouTube live streaming. Um, I I intended to do live streaming once I had a bigger audience because it wouldn't it would be pointless to live stream right now because, like I say, I haven't got many like subscribers. So when I when I posted a video saying I'm live streaming right now, you might get one person that might see it quickly and then watch and that's a bit I mean no one wants to be in a live stream when only one person's watching so I was thinking really 500 subscribers was when I was going to do it however if YouTube brings out the thing then not only will people like that are already subscribed to me be able to watch but it'll be on like their live stream thing. It'll say live streaming right now. It's this, 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 and I'll be there. And then people will go, oh, and watch. And so I will have more than one people watching, and it will be good. And that would be good because you you take look at people. I know I'm not Vlogwood is one of my favourite YouTube channels, but it isn't really suited. It's it's vaguely suited to live stream. Because live streaming is not like their content. Because almost all YouTube videos take a lot of editing to make good. You know, I mean, I'm not saying my videos are as good as Vlog Brothers. Obviously, they're way worse, but they take no editing, which means live streaming. You pretty much get the same content. You get the same amount of entertainment as just another video, another video, another video. Because it is live commentary, by the way. Um, my my hard drive is going to start filling up now because I'm using fraps that just occurred to me. I'll be able to tell though when it's going to fill up because the frame rate is just going to horribly die. If anyone's actually watched all of this unedited, then bloody hell! Dedication! You can add like a Murtag thinks that you are the best subscriber ever onto your channel. Because you must be. No one's gonna watch this. I'm pointing up just because I don't know. <sighs> I might not put this up, who knows? Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, oh. So yeah. YouTube. And then you get a uh, Um, hands up here who is subscribed to C Nanas. C Nanas, uh, big part of Machinima. Um, 
as far as I can tell. I'm not really big on. I'm not. I don't know that much about machinima. I don't watch that much machinima stuff. But um, he's a big guy apparently, for, and very you know, one of the Black Ops people. You know, one of those people that make Black Ops commentary. He's actually um. He actually did Minecraft. Minecraft was massive when he did it. He just does every now and again. Pretty much stop now, but we we'll made made a, black, a Minecraft video which were immensely popular. Um, he now makes he's put out two episodes of Terraria, Ter Terraria, which is live commentary with other people, although they're all playing at once on one server. Um, and he's getting a lot of shit for actually, I think. Mainly because, well, firstly, I think we can all agree the videos aren't quite as good. And then secondly, I think it's because people, I think people have started to look at him and say, "You've just copied other YouTube channels, other YouTube channels like Yogscast, who did Minecraft and now doing well." Yogscast hardly did Terraria at all. They did a little bit. They did like three episodes. Yogscast, another good YouTube channel you should all subscribe to. It's like, I don't know how you can possibly be that entertaining. I watched like a 30 minute video and for the whole time Simon was stuck in a tree. And that was epic. Way better than any other video I could ever make. And it's like, how do you be that interesting in a video? I don't even know. Because that's the thing. That's the thing with most of YouTube. You can't just go, okay, my next video is going to be awesome can't do it because you have to be interesting and if you're not born interesting or if you're not taught if you're not like socially taught to be interesting then well I'm sorry I mean you get these it's some, some people who are so bad to listen to that you know they, their videos become popular because it's so bad um, I can only think of one example which is TF like he did some guy did TF2 tutorials and uh, TF2 tutorials and this little kid essentially basically a child did it um, I've got so good at going up now but I'm shit at going down on the other side so yeah YouTube see Nana's anyway what was I going to say He's Black Ops, right? If you've never seen him do a Black Ops commentary, you really should. Because he never ever talks about Black Ops. I mean, the last video he put up, he like vaguely mentioned about Modern Warfare 3. Right, okay. But generally, he just... I mean, he has like an absolutely brilliant like 43 kills, like one death run or whatever. In, but that's, that's the background, essentially. The meat of his video is his commentary, which is generally about life lessons. It's usually either um, like one was about he's telling the experience of his first girlfriend and how everyone has to go through that and then it's just and things like that and about one was about how he was talking about with his mate about what if a meteor was about to strike what would you do um, things like that like you should you should appreciate every single day of your life be grateful etc really interesting he's a really cool guy so yeah check check him out if you don't know who he is I'm still doing this do you remember when I was actually doing the level with the keys that were dropping down? Do you remember that? Do you remember when I mentioned the last level? Oh uh, yeah, that was, that was a long time ago. I'm probably going to get hate comments about people telling me I'm not trying. I am, sort of. I am definitely, I am trying to this level. However, I'm, I'm thinking more about my comments right now. I'm just, I'm just talk, I'm talking, playing the game at the same time. I'm not going, okay, I'm going to be as concentrated as I possibly can, if I'm being honest, but I'm, I'm trying. <sighs> it's amazing how I can just talk for, for, for hours with no, um, no stimuli, because it's exactly the same thing on screen, constantly, and I can just talk. It's much easier to talk by yourself 
than it is to talk to someone. Talking at some, at talk when you're talking to people, it's like pff, ooh, they might not think good about that. Ooh, are you know, people gonna think bad about me? But there's something about when, when even though way more people listen to this than me in real life, you know, on it re regularly, I just feel like I can say I can be more honest. Just talk about shit. Bandage girls over there, like, what the fuck are you doing? What the f? This should. Do you know what? I might just make this his own his own let's play. That I want to be the guy screen from Super Meat Boy. This could go viral. No, no, it won't because the commentary is not good enough. This is this commentary is very lame commentary. Not it's not mainstream comedy. I mean, it's, like the way I said comedy, rather than commentary, it's not funny. Was what I was gonna say. This isn't funny commentary, it's just like, meh, me talking. You have to be funny or very interesting. Yogg's cast are a brilliant example of people who are very funny. I mean, like, really, really funny. Their most recent video, Pharaoh's Curse. Top comment. Remind me not to have coke in my mouth at 12.58. Trust me. Everyone probably had to pause that video and just laugh that ass off at that moment. It was amazing. I did feel kind of sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. People, most people won't have watched the video, and I'm excluding you completely. But I do feel very sorry for the people that made the map because they, they Yogscast started doing this map and then they just did like a quarter of it, and because and because the pyramid blew up, they were like, oh well, fuck it. They also cheated as well. They, they gave themselves torches. To be fair though, it would have been pitch black otherwise and shit to watch and pretty shit to play. The challenge was supposed to be that it's pitch black but obviously, you know, you've got to make a challenge fun. A lot of people say I'm the guy isn't fun, it's just stupidly difficult. I don't think it's fun. But it depends how you look at it. Ugh, yeah, other YouTubers I'm subscribed to then. Um, I don't know. Oh, no, actually. What are the chances of Mr. Greg Murphy watching this video? He did subscribe to me, I don't know if he still is. He makes a uh, Guitar Hero charts. He actually subscribed to me, I was like, wow. Um, I passed the lollicost of thought on Guitar Hero next. Lag, lag. That's gonna happen to me at back. That's Fraps making because every four gigabytes of footage, Fraps makes a new uh, file, which happens about once every six minutes or so. Yep, it this really does take up that much hard drive space. I have about 500 gigabytes that's dedicated to this. Every a normal recording session, I usually use about 130 gig. If I'm going for it, like play for quite a few hours, 250, 300, I've done that before. This is probably, this is one of the longest recording sessions I've ever done. And it's mostly two screens. I'm starting to think, what the hell were the developers thinking when they made this? Okay, you're trying to make it difficult because you're someone with a guy, make it harder than the other screens, but you've gone a bit overboard here. I'm going to go back to the other levels and realise that if I try, I actually do the level. I'm just sort of mono monotonously doing this now. Remember when I couldn't do that? Yeah, that was a long time ago. I've never done this. Just because I suck. I really need to try and look. You see, if I was really trying, what I would be doing is trying different techniques. Every time I die, I would think, okay, that didn't work. Let's try something different. Rather than just keep trying over and over and over. However, I'm not doing that, by the way. I was thinking maybe I could use the walls, jump off the walls. However, in order to get on the walls, you have to jump straight up, and that would almost certainly kill me. So I've just got to do it the way I'm doing it right now. This is hard. 
this is harder than anything, you know, would be the guy. You know, I remember the guy, they had loads of sections like this where the platform was going through spikes. However, they were very, very easy. I mean, like, if you were... You... Generally... You had to, like... You know, you generally did it, like, third attempt. Because it was... There was usually very... 90% of it was very easy. There might be one tiny little spike that's, like, gonna push you to be close. They never had anything of this sort of difficulty. Or anything you had to do twice in a row. <laughs> what what the people that made I mean, the guy have done here is they've taken like I don't remember the guy on the screen. Made it, I don't know, slightly easier, but then doubled it. So you have to do it twice in a row. So remember if you think back to the math I was doing ages ago, if I've got a one in a hundred percent chance of doing the level and that takes me an hour to do that. In order to do it twice in a row, I have one in 10,000 chance, which means it's going to take me a hundred hours to do it. Just throwing that out there. No, but it won't take me that... No, that's, that was exaggerated, by the way. It won't take me that long. Because I do the start, like, quite often. Just, it's just a matter of time before I flute this. I'll f I will flute that section one time, freak out, and then hopefully I'll do the second part, the very last part, the first time. And then I can't remember what the third screen is at all. Hopefully it's easy. I don't know how I can do... I need to go early there. I need to be thinking, okay, dodge, 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 dodge. It's the thing is that never seems to work. If you say go early, you generally don't listen to yourself. You tend to just still go on your instincts. If you instinctively start doing something, it's very difficult to not do it instinctively. However, having very definite times and when to move is very helpful. I've started, I've stopped caring now. <laughs> I've started just going, oh, I just can't be arsed. See, if I quit though, I'll have to do the first level again. Nope, not doing that. So I'm going till I get the kid now. It's going to get dark outside. It's going to be like the uh, Mystery Guitar Man video where he plays one note every 30 seconds and plays Flight of the Bumblebee. And uh, it takes him like 12 hours or something. And you can see like the light outside of him. Because like, uh, he's sitting on a balcony. It gets darker. It's pretty amazing. It's pretty cool. You do get YouTubers like that. They just make cool shit. Mr. Chairman keeps it in the theme of music and often stop motion. But he, he manages to keep making original videos just by using the two ideas of music and stop motion, combining them. I mean, he doesn't always use stop motion. I, I don't watch all these videos though, to be fair. I, I haven't seen them all, so I don't know. I don't even know if they all involve music. I think they do though. You really do have a lot more lenience than it looks like on these spikes. I just freak out and go really late. Early, 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 oh. I'm, I'm getting there. Like I said, I will fluke it one time. My chances of dying on the last section are also very high. I would do well to do it first time. Come on. Early, 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 early. Oh my god. Sorry, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just shouting early down the mic. But I've got to do this. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. And then I'll have the kid to do the rest of the game with. And it'll be amazing because I'll be able to double jump. If you're paying attention, you'll probably find that I'm doing almost exactly the same thing down to the pixel on the first half of the level. 
every time. <sighs> how do I man- I was about to say, how do I manage to do this so easily that I died, so it sort of nullified my comment. Uh, uh, don't worry, no one's watching this anyway. If there is one person, it's just you and me now. You have survived this long. I remember once I had an experience like this. It's far more enjoyable though. And it felt like a lot less time than what it was. I'm gonna do the fan game. Pokemon boss. Took me 53 minutes to beat. And I'm fairly confident I've gone well over that now. I actually edited it. I sped it up four times. Or five times. Something like that. And then did non live commentary over the top of it. Saying, yeah. That boss. But that boss was really quite fun to do. The problem was it had some of the attacks were a complete bitch to dodge and it was random so you were like... Which was in a way a good way because it was very like, there's a really decent chance that they would never use any of the bitch attacks. Ever. Which is nice. Well that was a fail. I don't know why they've had the snapping noise of when you... when I... My statistics have just gone down, like the amount of deaths I've got has doubled. Yeah, if you I've probably spent half of the game so far on this screen on these screens. Did they not play test this and realise no this is too difficult? <laughs> this is I've just realised that this is technically worse than any I wanna be the fan game section ever. Because I don't think any I, I wanna be the fan game section took me this long. I think two two episodes was like the bare limit it took me to do anything. Oh, I'm starting to lose frames. I'm starting to lose frames, which means I'm running at hard drive space. I was used to constantly be at 60, but now I'm hovering about the 50 mark and it's fluctuating. I might have to stop recording, which should be awkward. Yeah, it just skipped there. That's what I saw. Eventually this will get quite bad. Oh, it just skipped again. This might... This, I need to do this now then. I'm on like a time limit now. If not, I just have to do it off recording. It's that simple really. Because I'm not doing this again. I'm not exiting, I'll tell you that. Not after doing one of the three levels. I'm gonna tell you, I want to see the back of these levels now. I'm just glad that there are no bandages and no time limits on this because that would drive. Me. Because then, I know that I would never ever get them. Because I'd never be able to do the levels again. This is my worst hours. I should have just given up. I should have just given up. But now I've actually got somewhere. I would lose if I gave up. It's starting to get to me now. <laughs> Start. I'm just. It's just starting to get to me. I'm starting to go. Every single time I die now, it's starting to stab me in the heart. Um, if I do end up um, cutting this, you'll, you won't be missing anything on me beating because it, what it will look like, it will look like this. But if you play this video backwards, on the other side anyway. So it won't be like particularly epic, it won't be like an epic jump or anything that you're missing on me doing. So if I do go, okay, I'm running out of hard space, I'm going to do it off screen, then you're not missing anything. 
Once you've done like two of them, you think, fucking hell, this is easy, I'm gonna do it, and then you just die out of nowhere. It feels like you're dying out of absolutely nowhere. There is actually one series of games which is significantly way harder than this. Guitar Hero. Yep. <sighs> See? Right? I'm telling you. I'm be the guy might be hard. This might be hard. But compared with the difficulty of, say, I don't know, FC, which means 100% in without ever over strumming. Oh, they just fucking skipped. That's what I saw. And it caused me to die. I might have to check on my hard drive space and see how it's doing. Oh, I'm at 60 FPS again now, though. I'm going to SRSR and check out how my hard drive is doing. Hello guys, I'm uh, back from checking my hard drive space left and um, I know what you're thinking. What? Did you do it off screen? And the answer is no. It crashed when I tried to tab back in. Is the answer to what happened. I've accidentally gone on the forest. Um, the answer is I, I tabbed out, checked my hard drive space and just to give you an idea it's a 500 gigabyte hard drive, so it's actually 461 gigabyte hard drive. It was completely empty when I started because I got rid of all my old raw files. It now has 30 gigabytes left. It'll have less, slightly less now because I've just done a bit of recording. See, I've got 430 gigabyte of stuff. So I tap back in to say oh, I'm running out of space. I'm going to do it off screen, and ding, error. It crashed. <laughs> And uh, yeah, I can't. S Fuck my life is the answer, and the answer is I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> I've given up on the uh, on the warp zone. I'm actually not gonna do this. Uh, I may one day do it, but not t not today, and not on recording. Um, actually, one sec. 